Good morning, everybody. Um, I welcome you to the first annual meeting and joint working group meeting of the European Coast Action at Second Chemistry. This is our first big meeting of the action that was originally uh, planned to be an in-person meeting in Cluj, Romania, and it was going to be organized by Professor Ladislaw Naji and his team. And as you may know, well, we had to uh, cancel this meeting in last March due to the uh, COVID pandemia. And uh, well, we decided to organize it online now in September. So, so basically, uh, well, I'm talking as chair of the uh, Atto Chemistry uh, uh, Network. And uh, it's, as I said, it's a big pleasure for me to welcome you to this meeting. Uh, I would like to share with you a, a, a few slides to, um, to show you the, um, how this conference uh, is going to, to take place and also to give you some information about the, uh, the Atto Second Chemistry Network. So concerning the, uh, the workshop, these are the, uh, the actual numbers we have. We will have 39 oral contributions, 43 poster contributions, and uh, uh, more than 200 regular uh, delegates, which means that a total of more than 300 participants, which means that uh, this is indeed the field of that attracts the interest of many researchers all around the world. And although this is a European uh, network, as you can see in this map, we have participants from uh, non-European countries like the US, Canada, South America, China, India, Japan, etc. Um, so the primary objective of our network is to design autosecond light pulses and, autosecond co and design autosecond control strategies that can efficiently be used to induce unusual charge migration dynamics in molecules, isolate or in solution, so that one can selectively break and form chemical bonds, thus leading to new chemical reactions or avoiding the expected ones. This is a very general objective. And, uh, uh, and of course, to reach these objectives, uh, the network uh, includes both uh, experimental groups and theoretical groups. And uh, well, basically what we aim at doing during the duration of our uh, cost action is to improve existing and develop new at second pump prof schemes and high harmonic spectroscopic methods to directly monitor electron dynamics in molecules. We want to understand charge migration and chemical reactivity at the most elementary level and eventually design strategies for their control by directly acting on the at second time scale. We will coordinate experimental efforts for the investigation of problems of chemical interest. And we will combine at the second sources and UV and X-ray free electron lasers with state-of-the-art spectroscopic detection methods that are common in physical chemistry laboratories. And finally, we will adapt existing computational tools and develop new ones to provide direct support to uh, experiments and guide research in this emerging field. Of course, these, uh, to reach these objectives, uh, well, we need some coordination and this is why we have this cost action. So we will look for unified scientific models. We will try to establish a documented software repository. Um, we will generate data sets to be used as benchmark for new experimental uh, 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 research and, uh, and co-developments. We will also uh, provide instruments for uh, collaborations with uh, academy and industry through joint projects. And we will try to communicate uh, and disseminate uh, our work and results to the uh, scientific, political, and public audiences. So I, I don't want to bother you too much about this because all this information is in the Atokem website. So you can you can find uh, uh, and read in detail which are the other objectives of, of the network. But I'd like to say a few words about how this uh, network is organized. This, org this network is organized around three working groups. 
Working Group 1 is coordinated by Katerina Bozzi and is about new atosecond techniques for the control of electron dynamics and molecules. Working Group 2 is coordinated by uh, Ladislaw Nagy and is about computational tools for the description of atosecond electron and nuclear dynamics. And Working Group 3, coordinated by Frank Lepin, is about atosecond imaging and control of charge migration and chemical reactivity. And around these three working groups, we have also the support of a few companies. Uh, and, uh, and of course, there is also an important ingredient, which is the possibility to uh, perform short-term scientific missions uh, from one laboratory to another. And this is coordinated by uh, Bernard Piro. So basically the uh, structure of uh, the, the people uh, with uh, important responsibilities in this network is apart from me, uh, uh, is uh, Francesca Calegari, who is the vice chair of the action. The three working, working group leaders that I mentioned before and the STSN coordinator. And in addition to that, we have uh, Aurora Ponzi, who is responsible, she's the science communication manager. So this nowadays is becoming a very important role since uh, in-person meetings are impossible. So we have to make an additional effort to disseminate the, uh, the, um, the network. And we also have Agnes Vivok as uh, uh, responsible for the geometric, uh, geo geographical inclusive and ITC management. We have the gender balance coordinator, who is Violeta Petrovic, and the early career investigator coordinator, who is Iva Brezinova. And we have also the honor to have an external advisory board composed by Luca Argenti from the US, Ludi Mauro from the US, Kiyoshi Ueda from Japan, and Monica Garcia and uh, Thomas Metzer from Simune and um, companies. So the action started last October and uh, unfortunately we have not been able to do anything until now due to the uh, current pandemic. This will finish in October 2023. So far there are 26 European countries participating in the, in the action and, uh, and among them 38% belong to this inclusive needs target countries uh, group. We also have uh, international partner countries, namely the US and Japan, and uh, one near neighbor country, which is Belarus. As I said, you can find details about the network in our uh, website, atokem.eu, or in the COST website at, uh, in Brussels. So just to give you some, uh, some additional numbers about the action. So um, we have uh, in the management committee who is responsible of taking the decisions about the different activities that are organized within the framework of the Atokem network. We have 45 members and 47% of them are female. So we are very proud of this uh, uh, balance. And uh, we have some substitute members in the management committee. As I said, we have uh, some uh, external observers, the ones I mentioned before. And so far, we have 98 groups registered in our Atokem website who are officially participating here. And 34% of them are uh, led by uh, females and 23% are located in ITC countries. And only 17% are, uh, you know, involved early career investigators. So these are things that we should improve uh, in order to attract young people. And uh, so uh, if you are interested in joining this, I hope you will be interested in joining the action after the meeting. Uh, you can do it through our website. And, uh, and uh, well, there, there is some uh, procedure uh, that uh, has to be followed that I will not describe here. And I think that, uh, I will uh, basically stop here because uh, in the closing uh, session on Friday afternoon, I will give details about uh, future activities of the action, but I think today is probably uh, not a good idea 
to uh, bother you with all these details. So again, I uh, am very happy that uh, you are here. I cannot see you, but I know you are there. And, uh, and uh, I think, uh, and I wish you a very successful meeting and I hope you will enjoy. Thank you very much.